great many people get almost an unnecessary about unboxing stuff um, but this is now moving into the modification phase of Honda Cub ownership so if you want the unboxing just imagine a bloke opening a box in a garage um, in Wiltshire and you, you'll get off on that just fine. Okay I'm going to attempt fate and say this is going to be an easy operation. Two 12 millers there. Very good, very nice. Uh, and then there's uh, two little lads just there above the number plate. And I'll just whop a button those and then they set the angle of the dangle, these two brackets here. Um, I've already loosened these, so I should just be able to finger blast them out. Let's see where it gets us. So for good luck in the future, I'm going to just drizz these into um, it's actually the blood of the characters from Avatar. It comes out quite thick. So she's finger tight on the top there. I've just got to find something for these two. And luckily, um, like a lot of people, I've got a biscuit tin, old biscuit tin, full of uh, unused bolts and nuts and things from other stuff. So I'll go fishing in there uh, and then scoop them back up. It's pretty well organised. Found these two pussies. Um, however, there's even a little shakeproof nut on there, a shakeproof washer. They're too long, so I'm going to gauge the depth of the hole with a drizzy lon. Cut them down to length, file the ends, and then uh, they should insert from tip to base in one smooth motion. So I used a nail, that's what I meant by a drizzy lon. Um, there's a mark on the nail, I'll hold it up against that and I'll cut it down. Luckily, I um, labelled this thing. It's a vice. If you're after an action shot. Yeah. Not quite Alan Milliard, but. You know. Oh. We're going to teach those bolts a lesson with this. Ideally, don't have stuff touching the bits that go fast when you um, rev it. So you can see that's perfectly safe now. There we go, got the lion's share of the work done with the grinder. I might just show that some um, emery paper or something just to smooth it off. Quick dip of um, Avatar blood and they'll be in. We've hit our first snag in that the six year old Chinese kid that made this, no slight to them, they probably work a lot harder than I do. I uh, didn't get the holes in quite the right place, you can see they're a bit pissed, so I'm just going to run up the inside of these holes with a round file, sort of oval them, and that should teach them a lesson. Ended up going with the um, manual option on this simply because uh, I couldn't be bothered to get the drill out. The drill was hiding from me. Uh, you can see here you stick your um, files into a golf ball and that stops them um, jabbing into your hand. Anyway, you can see I'm filing, so I'll carry on. Nice rack, mate. So the overall impression it gives is a very nice one mobile sex therapist or similar you can see I've tidied up the bolts that I used earlier and I've thrown the socket set in with it so that'd be good however the arrangement for attaching was obviously slightly different on um, the rack of Phil Roderick as it's known basically this rack is smaller so I think I'll probably just drill the relevant holes out or make more holes and then just attach it with um, u-bolts to the to the little frame here um happily checkpoint tires and devices have plenty of those here she is this is the um central rack luckily there's uh, like a clipboard function come mouse trap um excellent for containing the paperwork if you've been to assess the safety of a gusset or something. Ideal if you've got a particularly large parsnip between your legs or something else. So I will install this now. It seems pretty simple. Some bent bits of metal and some more bent bits of metal and some bolty nutty whatevers. This is actually great. So you can see, oh no, I've got a personal reminder. However, am I going to keep it secure on my bike? Just like that. I'm also hoping to start attending a lot more adult events in the area, uh, coffee mornings and um, pub quizzes and stuff like that. 
So distributing the documentation for those discreetly and quickly is going to be a cinch with this new centre rack. I'm thrilled. You're probably thinking, how the hell does this bloody bastard work in such a messy environment? I question that too. I'm usually a lot tidier than this, but I'm just like in this frenzy to just do and do and do on this bike. It's mint. It's absolutely revved me up in a way that um, not many other vehicles have. So you can see here, this is the side pod. It didn't come with the toolkit, so I've made my own in an old sort of pencil case thing. You just stuff it in there, and then as long as you've got a coin, you can always undo your screw. Moist. Do this left-handed, and I may as well be one-handed. I'm so um, right-hand dominant, but you get the idea. You can see this left hand is all smashed to bits as well. Nevertheless, I'm still able to do up me side pod or pod race or whatever the heck it's called. So as you can see, the cover's evolved. Uh, if it started as a Charmander, I would say that turning it into a Charmeleon was sorting the car back, changing the oil and fitting the racks. And it's now a Charizard. You can see it's got a top box. Um, it opens, it's secured with U-bolts, which I secured from checkpoint tyres in devices. Um, the guy that owns it, Miles, has actually been voted the most romantic man in Europe for the third year running, so that's cool. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a test run. I'll show you how it's fixed on in a bit. Uh, I'm going to get a cock restaurant. Uh, it's owned by Will and his brother. They used to work in the adult industry. Their um, romantic arrays were deemed too large and smooth for the trade. Uh, so they were given a grant by Prince Andrew to start a restaurant. The names Penis, uh, Members Club and Dick are all taken locally. Dick Curry House obviously being very famous. Um, so they decided to call their restaurant Cock. Um, so I'm going to see how well um, Will's Cock fits in my box and then I'll be bringing it home to put in my mouth. There's a few sort of starry cracks on there but I, I'm going to call that patina. So these are the U-bolts from the most romantic man in Europe. Actually, the other two guys that work there, Chris and Brandon, were runners up this year. Usually it's Chris's dad. There you can see the, the top of the U-bot. I went that way on the advice of a friend who's too secretive to name. Um, it means I can bungee or strap stuff down if it's particularly um, volatile or explosive. And then underneath, you can see, um, very importantly, I have double-nutted each of these. Um, I went diving in the in the tin of uh, multiple spares, found exactly what I needed. Nuts with flanges on as well. Look at that beautiful blue butterfly there. As well, just Good about to delivery there for you, my friend. Stuffing his cock in my box. Pop that cock right in your box. Look at him go. It's probably not the first time, is it, Will? And to complete the um, lewd metaphor, stretch it far beyond where it needs to go. Wow, the smell of Will's cock in my box is irresistible. I'm going to go and give it to Helen now.